Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Today, we are going to open up a new topic, polynomials. A, B, C are three friends. They are playing with kites. We can see some expressions are written on the kite. Let us check. In A, the expressions are 7x plus y and 3m. In B, the expressions are 4ab and 2a square minus 8a plus 5. In C, the expressions are 11ab plus 12c and 20x square y plus 2z square minus 3x plus 7. These are algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase or representation that consists of variables, constants, and mathematical operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These expressions contain variables and numerals, which are connected together with mathematical operations. In A, algebraic expressions are 7x plus y and 3m. In 7x plus y, there are two terms 7x and y. Here, x and y are variables. Now consider 3m. In 3m, there is only one term. Here variable is m. b has two algebraic expressions. 4ab and 2a square minus 8a plus 5. In 4ab, there is only one term. Here variables are a and b. In 2a square minus 8a plus 5, there are three terms. 2a square minus 8a, 5. Here variable is a. C has two algebraic expressions. 11ab plus 12c has two terms, 11ab and 12c. Here, variables are a, b, c. In the expression, 20x square y plus 2z square minus 3x plus 7. There are four terms, 20x square y, 2z square minus 3x and 7. Here, variables are x, y, z. Now, let us see what is a polynomial. The examples we discussed above are polynomials. A polynomial is an algebraic expression containing one or more terms with non-zero coefficients and exponents of variables are non-negative integers. The word polynomials is formed by two words, poly and nomials. Poly means many. Nomials means terms. That is, polynomials means many terms. Now, what is the coefficient of a term in a polynomial? The coefficient or numerical coefficient of a term is the numerical value associated with a term. For example, in the polynomial 3x square minus 2x plus 4. Here, terms are 3x square minus 2x and 4. And we can see that coefficient of x square is 3. And coefficient of x is minus 2. 4 is the coefficient of x raised to 0. Since 4 can be written as 4 equals 4x raised to 0. That is, we have seen that each term in a polynomial has a coefficient. Now let's see different classification of polynomials according to the number of terms. Consider 3m 
and 4AB. There is only one term. Therefore, 3M and 4AB are monomials. That is, a polynomial containing only one term is called a monomial. Now consider 7x plus y, 11ab plus 12c. Here, there are two terms, so they are binomials. That is, a polynomial containing two terms is called a binomial. Now consider the polynomial 2a square minus 8a plus 5. There are three terms, that is 2a square minus 8a and 5. So this polynomial is called a trinomial. A polynomial containing three terms is called a trinomial. Hence a polynomial may contain one or more terms. But remember that all monomials, binomials, and trinomials, etc., are polynomials. Let's check whether the following expressions are polynomials or not. First, 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5x plus 6. Second, root 2x squared plus 2xy plus root 3y squared. Third, root x plus root y plus 2x. Fourth, x plus 1 by x. Let's check one by one. In first, 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5x plus 6. Coefficient of variables, 3, minus 4, 5, 6 are real numbers. And the exponents of variables are non-negative integers. So it is a polynomial. In second, root 2x square plus 2xy plus root 3y square. Here, the coefficients of variables root 2, 2, root 3 are real numbers. And the exponents of variables are non-negative integers. So it is a polynomial. Next consider root x plus root y plus 2x. Is it a polynomial? Let's check. We can write root x plus root y plus 2x as x raised to 1 by 2 plus y raised to 1 by 2 plus 2x. Here, exponent of x is 1 by 2 and exponent of y is 1 by 2. Here the exponents of x and y are not integers. We know that for a polynomial, exponents of variables should be non-negative integers. Therefore, it is not a polynomial. Next, take x plus 1 by x. x plus 1 by x can be written as x plus x raised to minus 1. Here exponent of variable x is negative. We know that for a polynomial, exponents of variables should be non-negative integers. Therefore, x plus 1 by x is not a polynomial. Usually a polynomial in one variable can be denoted as p of x, q of y, or g of z, etc., depending upon the variables x, y, z, etc. For example, p of x equals 5x square plus 7x minus 4. q of y equals 3y square minus 7y plus 5. g of z equals 4z cube minus 8z square plus 5z plus 4. Let's recall what we discussed today. Today, we have seen algebraic expressions, polynomials, classification of polynomials according to the number of terms, 
Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Check whether the following expressions are polynomials or not. If so, classify them according to the number of terms. First, 8a plus 6b. Second, 9x. Third, 2 root x plus 3 root y. Fourth, x square plus 1 by x square. Fifth, 8y square minus 1. Sixth, 7y minus 2a plus 3b. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.